I want to talk about um, growing bigger deer in today's video. And I want to start out by saying I'm not an expert at growing bigger deer. I really don't care too much about shooting the biggest buck in the woods, shooting 150, 160, I don't really care. If a deer excites me, I'm gonna shoot the heck out of it, right? I say this all the time, if, if people wanna shoot a four pointer, they wanna shoot a spike, by all means, shoot what excites you. Um, but on the fact of, you know, the, the hot topic, you know, these days is, you know, growing bigger deer. People fall into the gimmicks of, you know, corn piles and pellets and uh, salt blocks mineral blocks, you know, the hard cubes that you sit on the dirt and uh, you force deer to eat dirt, which is 100% unnatural. Um, I'm, in a, I'm pretty much against um, mineral piles and blocks and salt blocks and mineral blocks and pellets. Um, other than getting a picture, I don't think in my opinion that they really benefit the deer too much. And in most cases, they could possibly hurt the deer. Um, it's a hard pill to swallow um, for most people because of marketing tactics. Um, they see a commercial on TV, they see the marketing on the bag of some person holding a trophy buck. What they don't realize is a lot of times that's, that's marketing, it's staged. Um, it's marketing to try to get you to buy the product. That person shot that 170, 180 inch buck on a piece of property that's 100% unpressured. Um, most times a lot, it's fenced, you know, it's a fenced property or it's in an area such as Iowa, Ohio, you know, that, that has the ability to um, produce these larger bucks. And to the average person, that's not reality. Um, the average person don't have access to those types of properties. And with that said is people buy into that marketing and it doesn't relate to every state or it doesn't relate to the north, it doesn't relate to the west, south. You know, every area is different, every county is different, every hundred acres is different. Each area has the ability to produce a different quality of deer. You have genetics, you have age class, you have uh, nutrition depending on the area. Um, there's three ways to grow bigger deer, and the most important is birthdays. Then you have uh, uh, genetics. Then you have nutrition. Nutrition provides the animal to reach its full potential genetic-wise. Um, you know, we all we're all born with different genetics to reach. You know, our our figures is is different in every person. We have the ability to reach a certain stature um, if we're giving the you know, nutrients and we live our life you know, natural and we live our life uh, to the maximum benefit um, as far as eating you know, quality food, you know, drinking enough water, sleep, and, and all these other things that fall into the category. And you know, deer are no different. You know, they have a certain genetic potential and a lot of people forget that, you know, a buck is born from a doe, right? So that doe, when you're trying to grow deer, it's more important to give those does the higher nutritional um, requirements that they need. It's, it's more bene beneficial to help them meet them requirements to a doe because the doe is what produces the offspring and produces the bucks, the buck fawns and, um, and all this. And it's very important for the doe. So if you can provide, you know, quality, you know, food sources and have high stem count quality and uh, food plots, green, you know, providing green and growing plants uh, throughout the year to that doe, you start seeing bigger bucks when they're born, buck fawns, more buck fawns, um, and just higher, or, you know, you start seeing bigger bodied deer because you are giving those nutrients to the animal. And back to the three things that that grow bigger deer, you know, we really can't control genetics, right? But we can control the nutritional uh, needs of the deer through habitat management, food plots, and providing, you know, unpressured areas to allow that deer to uh, reach its full potential through age class and, and birthdays, right? So can't really control genetics. We can control, um, 
nutrition like I just mentioned. And we can try to provide those animals with high quality food, natural food as nature intended through green and growing plants and browse and woody brows and bushes and shrubs and you know things like that. The other thing too is birthdays. A deer is not going to get bigger unless you give it birthdays. You know, each year a deer has the potential to get bigger when it lives another life. When another year. When we're growing up as a kids into an adult, each year you get bigger, right? Each person has a genetic potential, you know, that it's going to reach through birthdays. Um, and that's the topic right now is, you know, growing bigger deer and people are falling into the trap of all these gimmicks of mineral blocks and pellets and all this stuff and they're wasting money on that. You need birthdays before anything else. You know, a deer, if we don't do anything, a deer is going to get bigger. If we just let deer go, right, and give them birthdays without doing anything else, a deer is going to get bigger um, each year. And that starts with birthdays. Now, with that said, again, we can, the next step is to provide that quality food source in order for that deer to reach its genetic potential. Does that make sense? It's funny when you see, um, you know, mineral companies, uh, like granular minerals that you dump on the ground and you force deer to eat dirt. Um, there are a lot of times they put a sticker on the bag or bucket or whatever it is that says, continue to feed year round and in three years you'll see bigger deer guaranteed. Really? Because if you don't do anything for three years, you're gonna see bigger deer. And then you get the guys that have, you know, like they're like pro staff and you know, all this different names that you wanna call them, pro staff, field staff, and they start using a mineral pile and they get a picture on their trail camera of a big buck and they post on social media that says, oh man, you, gotta, you guys gotta check out this mineral, you know, this buck grew up to be this big. Really? It's marketing. That, that deer did not get bigger in two months from you feeding it a granular mineral on the dirt, forcing the deer to eat dirt. It doesn't happen that way. It takes years and years and years, which equals birthdays for that deer to get bigger reaches genetic potential through high quality nutrition. And what you'll see is a lot of times in an areas that don't have a lot of nutrition, uh, the antlers, the bases are gonna be very smooth. Those antlers are gonna be very smooth and they don't have nodules. When you start getting into ag country, um, areas that's managed properly with high quality soil, the nutrients in the soil are high. Uh, they have tons and tons of food per acre you start to see the bumps and the nodules on the base of the antlers and you start seeing the kickers and you know all these different types of thing. When they're smooth, that's a lack of nutrition. When you see the nodules, they, you get them as nutrition, high quality nutrition, and as the deer gets older, they start to get those nodules and they're not smooth anymore. That's a good indication that the, the area has uh, high quality food, it's got good soil, the nutrients, fertility levels, the micronutrients are high, they're in ag country, they're eating soybeans and all that. So if you wanna grow deer, okay, it's not in a bag. You're not growing a deer by dumping something from a bag onto the ground. You need to give them birthdays. And it's the only real way, guys. I mean, don't buy into the marketing and the TV commercials and the, the marketing on the bags and the social media ads that you see from buy this mineral, buy that mineral, buy that mineral. You need high quality, micronutrients availability in the plants, the soil. You need green growing plants and high stem count through brows, clear cuts, bushes, shrubs, briars, all that stuff, and birthdays. Any questions, guys, post them down below. I'd love to talk to you about it down there, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.